Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Brittany. So in today's video, I have another human hair wig review for you guys. This is going to be a kinky curly wig. So today's video is brought to you by OMG Her Hair. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look together, then just keep on watching. Now you already saw the intro for this video. Today's video is brought to you by OMG Her Hair. I'm going to read the specs for you guys and show you guys the unboxing as I am talking. So this is their new ponytail 360 curly HD lace wig with realistic curly edges front and back. This wig starts at $269. And of course, since it is November, deals will be going on. So this is a great time to invest in human hair wigs. So the cap construction is very interesting to me. Of course, it's a 360 wig, so you have lace all around. You have four combs in this wig, a comb in the middle, in the front, a comb on the right and left side, a comb in the back. And then you have an adjustable elastic band. And you do have like these adjustable straps that are... It's like a clear um, elastic string instead of the classic adjustable straps that we're used to. It does have the curly edges on there and to me they look, they do match the rest of the wig but they look kind of crazy but we'll, you know, fix that up. So I have 20, have this wig in 20 inches in a natural color, 180% density and of course this texture is curly. So I'm going to go ahead and try this wig on before I cut the lace and see what we got going on. So this adjustable strap is pretty tight, so I'm gonna loosen it up so it's easier for me to put it on my head. So this is what the wig looks like fresh out of the pack. Now, of course these baby hairs to me look crazy. I would first tweeze the hairline up because it is kind of straight across. And then I'd probably blend the kinky edges into the wig a little bit more. Um, that's what I would say about the hairline. It looks kind of thick to me. It has potential, but it's a little bit too straight across. This hair feels so good. It's very soft already. This is going to require a lot of products. So I do have my Shea Moisture Frizz Free Curl Mousse on hand. Because I know I'm going to have to use like a lot of it. But let's go ahead and get this hairline together. And I do have a standalone video on how to tweeze your wigs. I'm just going to break this up because it just looks too perfect. Just want you in my life, keep you warm and nice. 
So let's get into the review of this wig from OMG Her Hair. This is a lot of hair. And when it comes to kinky curly wigs, I told you guys in a recent video, I prefer to have longer ones like this because I just feel like longer big hair like this just looks better on me. But because this is a very full and long wig, it's going to require a lot of product. I just, this is pretty much a brand new bottle of the Shea Moisture Frizz Free Curl Mousse and it's almost uh at the halfway point because this was so much uh hair this is high in density yeah so as far as the pros and cons go the only con I have for this wig is how thick the hairline looked with the curly edges curly edges it makes your wig very easy to like conceal the lace on your wig and everything and wear it glueless but when they're too thick, they don't look good or they don't look natural. So I did have to thin mine out to make it work for me. And I think it looks so much better and a lot more natural. This is this wig is just full of pros. It's gorgeous. Very, very gorgeous. I love this, you know, texture. And it responded well to the Shea Moisture Frizz Recurl Mousse, of course. And I did a little bit of diffusing with this hair just so I wouldn't disturb the curl. But I didn't do it long because I just kind of let it air dry while I was doing my makeup. And my makeup takes maybe 35, 45 minutes. So it's about 95% dry. And this, another pro, it looks good outside in low lighting and in natural light. I am wearing this glue list, another pro. In low lighting, you could kind of see the separation of where the lace is in my skin. But if this was melted down with some even, you wouldn't have kind of like that separation there. It would be more melted. But for a glueless install, this looks really good. And then in direct sunlight, of course, the sun kind of fills in the lace and everything, but it looks very good. So it passes the sunlight test for me, so I won't be embarrassed if I'm, you know, wearing this around family or something like that, you know. I think that looks good, and I think this this style just looks very flattering on me. So this is a 360 wig, so you're supposed to be able to wear it in a ponytail. So I wanted to show you guys how it looks all down before I do any 
attempts of styling. So I'm going to continue to rock it glueless, but I'm just going to enlist the help of bobby pins to make sure the sides and stuff aren't lifting as I try to put it up in a ponytail. This is a lot of hair because even when I was putting on my melt band, I was just like, good grief. It's really a, a lot of hair just to pin it back. But we're going to see what we can do with this. I'm definitely going to have to do some pinning because it's, you know, it's going to be lifting and stuff like that. This is so much hair. So I at least got it up in the air. Let me see if I got some a claw clip to at least get this part up. I got a claw clip here. That's at least to get it there. So since this is so puffy, I'm just going to use my alligator clips that come with different wigs that I've gotten over the years. And I'll try to conceal them if I can. Okay, now we got the initial style. Now we just need to like refine it and make sure everything looks right. So I'm going to pull this down in the back. And start the bobby pin and they do have like little curly edges in the back as well so you can wear it up this is really the only option for me as far as putting it up in a ponytail because I wouldn't put glue and stuff all around my in the back that'd be so hard but bobby pins that's that's what I can do I can do that it's it's so much hair I gotta make sure this doesn't fall down you're gonna walk out of my door I start to jump to the conclusion You don't love me no more Babe, give me something to work with Can you just reassure me? did a ponytail for you guys with some two pieces out in the front and I still have this on glueless this is such a cute style and it looks natural I still have it glueless but if I was gonna wear this out I would definitely use my even because there's so much tension with the ponytail and having the hair pulled in different directions your wig is gonna slide back so if you're gonna do a up style use even because on the sides is fine but up front it's like lifting a bit so I would do that but overall this is very pretty and I don't do a lot of styling with my wigs I do tend to wear them just down but this is cute and this is like a similar hair texture to mine so you know I have you know some of my sideburns out and it goes well with the wig and I looked at the back like my footage of the back of the wig it still looks good it's a little bit of bulk from the actual ponytail but like the curly baby hairs work back there and it makes it look natural so I would you know have to perfect the ponytail to make it more flat back there but this is a lot of hair to put up into a ponytail but I did it I used a claw clip, still wasn't enough to keep this hair intact So in the ponytail. So I used my alligator clips and I have like four or five of them in there. But yeah, overall this is very pretty. So if you're interested in this wig from OMG Her Hair, 
I have a link to where you can purchase it in the description box. And if they have any discount codes, they will be there in the description box as well. So shout out to OMG Her Hair for sponsoring today's video and shout out to you guys for tuning in. Let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving it a thumbs up and leaving me a comment. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Someone just tell me why I do shit